Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, one of the things that I wanna do is I wanna try out this brand new font that I just found on an Etsy shop. The Etsy shop's name is Art A. Pally, I think. And this is called a fluffy fringe font embroidery design. And it looks really, really cool. If you look at the picture, it looks like it's just embroidering the font, right? And then once you embroider the font, you cut the back, the bobbin in the back of the uh, material. And then you just take a pin and you can just lift it up. And it, it has like this little fuzzy look. So I thought this was like so cute, so different. You know, a lot of times you see a lot of satin stitches, you see a lot of bean stitches. So this is just something that I really wanted to try out. So, um, you know, I thought, why not? I mean, you know, it was a little pricey, but you know, for something different, hey, I mean, I really seem to like it and I'm going to see how it turns out. So moving forward, I wanted to show you what I did was I went over to, uh, Walmart, right? And I purchased this sweatshirt. And I know you guys can't see it because I'm like really, really up close to the um, to the camera. And let me see if I can reposition myself here. Okay. All right. This is much better. All right. So as you guys saw the font that I want to try out, I think it's really going to look kind of cute. One of the things that I did was I went over to Walmart and I went to their clearance rack and they had this sweatshirt and it was only $9. So I figured for me to try out that font that it would be really cool. So one of the things that I want to do on this sweatshirt is I'm going to use that font and I'm going to put Latina on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up every letter to be a different color, just like I do on my Latina baseball hat. So I thought that would be really cute and on the pink just to give it a shot and just to see how it works. Okay, so let's go over to Embrillance and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm actually going to change all of the colors for all the fonts. Because I know a lot of folks sometimes ask that question because sometimes you see the fonts and they have like these really pretty um, fonts. But the thing is like every letter is a different color. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Real, real simple, okay? So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you how. Okay guys, I'm going to delete this, okay? Because one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the font that I have already purchased, okay? So, um, okay, it's ask, asking for the last one. I'm gonna change it up. Right here, what it is is called Amelia. And let's go look for it right here on all the lists. As you can see, I have a lot of fonts here. Okay, so here it is. And it's actually, it, when you download it, it's called Amelia fridge font pretty cool huh so I'm gonna do the two inches okay and um, as you can see this is what it looks like already okay so it's kind of interesting how this font works but I'm gonna show it to you okay so what I'm going to do and let me see if I can push this back a little bit so that you can see exactly what steps I'm taking I have the cursor a little bit big over here I'm going to type in uh latina okay because that's what i want my shirt to say all right now this is how i'm going to change all the colors in in the um in, in the design okay what i am going to do is i am going to first pick the letter just hit on that that um box right here the the little square okay I'm going to pick this letter and then when I go over to the right, I'm going to select the color. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a dark brown. Okay, so I'm going to do like milk chocolate. There you go, dark brown. There you go. And I'm going to hit OK. So that already changed the color. Now for this letter A, I'm going to select the A. And then what I'm going to do is go to the other side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select another color, okay? Now let's say I collect, uh, I get the rich gold and I'm gonna hit okay. See, and then now I have this. Then I'm gonna go to the T and I'm gonna select another color. Okay, maybe I'll hit brass. There you go, go to the I 
and I'm going to select a color there. Okay, and mm, let's see. Mm, I'll do a cream. Let me do the N. I know the A. Hold on, let me do the A. I want the A to be black for sure. Let's see, where's the black? I'm going to pick the black here. There we go. And I think for the end, what I'll do is I'll do like a round, a uh, little brown color. Here you go, reddish brown. There you go. All right. So here I have it. It's all selected and uh, all different colors, which is fine. And that's how I want it. And I want this to be on my brown shirt. Now I know right now, as you look at it, it looks a little funky and I got that okay but the thing is wait till it stitches out and wait till we cut the bobbin threads in the back and we're gonna see how it comes out it should really come out looking really really nice so now what I'm going to do is I am going to save this file on a USB and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the six needle machine and I'm gonna have it you know I'm gonna have the six needle machine do this um, stitch out okay now you can use this font on a flatbed machine all right so if you have a brother sc 1900 don't think you can't use this yes you can okay this is just a font all right and you you know so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to um save this now and i am going to put this on a usb and I'm going to take it over to my my machine and I am going to load it on and set it up. Let's see, where is my thing? There it is. I'm going to put it in here. And I am going to just call this shirt for testing. And let's uh, load it on the machine and let's watch it stitch. Okay, guys, before... I head over to the machine to stitch this. Of course, I gotta hoop this baby, all right? So I am going to use the um, hooping station that I have, and I'm gonna use my Mighty Hoops, all right? So I'm going to put this in here, and I also have, this is cutaway, okay? This is not tear away, because remember, if you're wearing something, you always use cutaway. You do not use tear away, because it's gonna dissolve in the wash, and then what's going to happen is the stabilizer isn't going to help the stitches maintain its integrity, okay? Because you want the, um, the design to always look nice. So you want to make sure that you always use cutaway when it comes to clothes, all right? So I am going to put my stabilizer in here. And then I am going to put in my shirt... in here my little hoodie okay this makes it nice and straight this is not a bad hoodie I tell you for for nine dollars I mean I think I did really really good on this let me just lift this up a little bit more for you guys sorry so I think for like for like nine dollars this was like, this was a good buy, okay? So, you know, I'm always at the clearance rack looking and stuff. All right, so I got this. I'm going to, there you go. I'm going to actually like put it, I want it like to be like right here, which is good, right in the middle of this. So now I'm going to take this out and I'm ready to take it to the machine. So I am going to move this over here, okay? And hook this up all right and I have this open I have a good amount of bobbin in here so I know I'm gonna be good I'm gonna put this in here now once you have this in the machine you want to make sure that you have everything correct I always put my hands inside because I want to make sure that the the area underneath is clear, okay? You don't want anything to um, snag or anything like that. So now I have my USB. Let's 
put that in there. I've already oiled the machine and all that good stuff. We're good. I've already actually even put in my uh, my thread, okay, with the color that I want. So I'm okay with that. Um, is it on here? Did it say? Yep, there it is. Because I, I called this shirt. I was looking for Latina. Okay. I have my moments too. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this like that because I wanted to show like this. Now before I ever, ever, ever embroider anything, I always like to do a trace, okay? To make sure that the needles are not going to hit the size of my hoop. Even if I know for sure, I always do a trace because you just never know. You just never know, you know, and right away I see I have an issue, okay? Um, let me show you what just happened, okay? And so, because I want you guys to see everything because sometimes, you know, people, you know, they don't show things, they edit things out. Look what happened. It crushed up right in here. And that's a no-no. I am not going to border with this crushed up like that. So I have to re-hoop this and I have to figure out why. Why did this do this? See, it just crunched up right here. See, so I need to figure out what's going on. Looks like it didn't, uh, oh, there it is, I got it. I was able to fix it. But that's odd. So I'm going to put this back in. And it it looks crooked to me. Let me rehoop this from fresh, okay? Sometimes you just gotta re redo things don't take shortcuts because even though i know it's a nine dollar sweatshirt but still if it's a nine dollar sweatshirt i still want to wear it you know <laughs> so because if it comes out really nice i want to sport this sucker okay so i am going to let me cut down my stabilizer a bit because it is a little on um, the it's like all over the place it's kind of like big so I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit. Less bulk in the item. And this is just thread. Let me just um, put this on here. Okay. Let's do this now. Let's do this all over again, because I wanna make sure that it's right. And then I'm gonna trace it again. I've done hoodies before, but let's see. Okay. This is perfect. It's right right in the middle. I'm gonna make sure it's right in the middle here, and it is. I'm just eyeballing it. Normally, if this was for a customer, I would just iron it and make sure that I got the middle. But it's for me, so and I don't think it is in the middle. So I'm just eyeballing it, just to make sure. There you go, I'm in the middle now, for sure. And let me pull, make sure, pull down, make sure I'm okay. I'm good. All right, so I'm gonna take it right back to the machine and let's do another trace, okay? Just to make sure that this is okay. So let's, uh, let's carry you over. And I'm going to let me put the camera up a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and stuff. And I'm going to put that in there. And of course, I am going to trace. And it could be that maybe something got caught up on something. So before I put it back, let me make sure that it's fitting nicely, okay? The things aren't going to go crazy. All right, see this? Mm. Okay, let me pull this back. Did this, yep, this is okay. 
see the little tabs. Make sure you pull them back. All right, I'm gonna put my hands in because I wanna make sure it's nice and smooth down there. It doesn't look like there's anything. I'm gonna trace one more time. And I wanna make sure that it doesn't like shift and it's not. It's perfect. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Very, very good, okay. See, I wanted to leave that in, I'm gonna leave that in the video too because I want you guys to know it's really important that when you hoop things, and if you see, even when I hoop it, and if I, let's say I didn't trace it, okay, and it started to embroider, I, this would have wrinkled and I would have ruined my product. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is always, always take the time to make sure you're hooping correctly and make sure you do your trace and that everything in the machine is, is okay. It's so worth it because if you start skipping steps and you don't pay attention, then what could happen is you could end up getting a snag on your, on your garment and then you kind of like messed up and it's just, it's just so not worth it. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for you guys, okay? So I'm gonna hit in border and one, two, three, four, five, six. All these things are in line exactly how I want it. And it's going to do the first, second, third, fourth, five, six. And it's good. All the, all the letters are assigned. I'm just gonna hit okay. And I am going to go ahead and hit embroidery. Now, this whole thing is going to take, it's, it's like, um, let me show you right here, and, and you don't see the thing. This is going to take um, 17 minutes to stitch, okay? Now, don't worry, you're not going to be watching 17 minutes of video. I'm going to fast forward the whole thing, and it's only like 6,000, well, not even, um, 5,603 stitches, okay? So, it's going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to set up the camera so you guys can see exactly how it's going to be stitching. And when it's done, then we're going to tear the um, bobbin. And I'll show you how I do that. And it's going to give that fringe look. So let's let it um, do its thing. Okay, this is cool. All right, it is all done. I'm gonna take it out and let's walk over to the table and let's take a look at what we got going on over here, okay? So let's take a look at this baby and let me position the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. 
Look at that. Okay, so it finally stitched out. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Looking at it straight, all right, you can make out the word, but it does look a little kind of funky, right? It doesn't look like an ordinary font that you would normally see, but that's okay because it's not done yet. Remember, this is all going to be frizzed, all right? So this is what, um, what you need to move forward, okay? You can use one of these three tools, all right? You can use a steam ripper, which I have right here. You can also use an X-Acto knife if you want to, okay? And I just uh, changed the blade, so this is a brand new blade. And if you have the piggy stitch eraser, you can use this as well, okay? Now, let's turn this, let's take this off of the hoop, and I wanna try to position the camera so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to take this off of the hoop right now. All right, this is the top. And let me get the inside out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me put the hoop away. I am going to um, turn this inside out. Okay, let me turn off my watering machine too. Save some energy. All right, so let me move this on the side, right? Because we don't need this right now. But, um, we're going to turn this whole thing inside out, okay? And I'm just gonna do the whole thing because that way it's uh, nice and neat. I'm gonna do the arms too. because That way we could take a look at the whole thing together and it, does, it looks nice and neat and it's not a mess. All right, so this is the back side of this, all right? You guys can see? Yes, you can. All right, let me put this a little closer. Now, what we need to do in order to get the fringe to start to show is the bobbin stitch that you see in here, we need to remove all of that, okay? Oh, I let me point. Let me get this out and let's point this out, okay? All this bobbin stitch that you see right here, the white right here, the white right here, this, all these bobbin stitches, this is what we need to get rid of, okay? And when we get rid of it, what it does is it releases the thread on the other side and it's going to turn fuzzy, all right? So I'm going to do one letter, okay? And you guys can watch me as I do it. Um, and then we're going to turn it inside out so that you guys can see exactly what it looks like, okay? So... Let me move the, the camera so you guys can see. I'm gonna do the letter L. And what I do is I'm just gonna take the steam ripper. I'm just gonna put it right in here. And I'm just going to cut the bobbin thread. That's all I'm doing right here. Okay. And I know it's kind of like, oh my God, what are we doing? But trust me, it's gonna look nice. Okay, so I got all of this done. All of this is done. Now I'm going to get rid of this bobbin thread right here. I'm just going to cut right here. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> But we'll see, okay? So, all right, so I cut all this side as well, okay? Now I'm gonna do the bottom of the L right here, okay? I'm gonna cut this as well. And, you know, just don't do a whole bunch at a time, you know, just do little pieces and pieces of the bobbin, okay? And go this way. OK. 
okay. Now I'm going to do the other side right here. And bobbin as well. Believe I'm supposed to cut this too. I'm not sure. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I got all of it. I got all of it on this side, this side, this side, and this side. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, turn this inside out because we want to look at the L. Okay, let me just move this here. All right, because we want to look at the L. Okay, okay, we got the L right here. Now, the lady in the picture had a little pin. Okay, so I got a pin and I'm just going in here and I'm just lifting. As you can see, it's all coming up pretty nice. Yeah, look, it's all coming up. Because all you want to do is you want to lift the brown thread. And, oh my God, look. Coming up really nice. Did I get all of this? I think I did. There's one left here. I think it's a little caught there. There you go. Now I'm going to do the other side. And can you guys see? Okay, hold on. Let me make sure you guys see. Okay. Now I'm just lifting this side. See? So now it's like, yeah. Now all of this lifted. Okay, so as you can see. It's fringy. <laughs> now this side is lifting as well. Wow. There you go. I'm going to go on this side as well. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? And you know what's funny is the fonts didn't look like fonts. But it seems to be coming together. You just have to lift up each of the... See, it looks kind of cool. Gonna be a cute shirt. And you do see some bobbin that comes out, but that's okay. Wow, this is pretty cool. It's different. That's what I really. That's what I'm excited about this. I get excited over different stuff. You know, this is like where you can do stuff that's different from everybody else. I think that one's coming up, but that's okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Let me show you. Here's my O. See? Isn't that cute? So I bet you when I do the rest of it, it's gonna come out really, really nice, okay? So let's start with the rest. You know, the next one I'm going to do, I'm gonna do it with the, uh, with this, the pig, piggy eraser.
Matter of fact, I actually can see the exacto knife. I think maybe the exacto knife will be better. Yeah. I like the exacto knife better. Even though I think somebody once put down in the comments they don't like the exacto knife, they said dangerous. Very true. You don't handle these knives correctly can be a problem there you go and I can just go ahead on all of them actually Now, the thing is, you do have to be careful because you don't want to cut the fabric, you know, while you're doing this. Because that could happen. You end up cutting the fabric. All right, so let's work on the A. Even though I did a little bit more than the A. And where's my pen? There it is. Okay, so should be able to pull this up it's not pulling up but this is this side's pulling up so this is good and this is obviously going to take some time you know this isn't like a quick font i could sell um this is something that you're gonna have to you know mess around with because you know you got to make sure that you cut the bobbin in the back but, uh, yeah, so this is going to take some time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop videotaping myself doing this, okay? But I will come back and show you the final product because this is going to take a while because I have to do every, I have to do every single letter, okay? So this is going to take a while, so... Sorry, guys. All right, so like I said, I was going to stop videotaping. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do every single letter exactly like I did the L, okay? And um, I'm going to show you what the end product actually looks when I'm done um, taking out all the bobbin from the back of the shirt. Okay, guys. This really does take a while, okay? I'm on my last letter, and this is how it's coming out so fast far um i think the t looks a little wacky and stuff i still have some oh i still have some more to go okay as you can see on some areas and let me show you like right here see this still has to lift okay if it doesn't come up it's because i did not cut the bobbin so what i do is i put my finger there and then i feel where my finger is and then I know right there that is the area that I need to put the steam ripper in now I tried those three items that I bought before and I'll talk while I'm doing this um the you know I noticed that the steam ripper is the best tool to use when doing this okay I would not do the peg the Peggy Stitch Eraser, you don't want to like cut too much into it. You really need to get into the, the, the details of this because you really need to cut that bobbin. That bobbin thread. Because remember, the bobbin thread is what's holding the, the fringe together. And 
this method really does seem to work, you know, with the seam ripper. Yeah, it's coming out. And, um, yeah, it works good this way. So, I recommend doing this. So, I just have a few. I just want to take a look at it real good and make sure that I got all of it. As you can see, you can see the fuzz, okay? Um, the thing is, I think this would look a lot better. This is the two inch. I think if I would have picked a bigger one it probably would have looked a lot better um if i picked the bigger one see right here i still have to hit the bobbin over there on the eye i don't have all of it out um i think that if i had picked oh i do have it out okay let's see i just have to pick it um i think that if i Picked a larger font. This probably would have looked a lot better. That's my guess. I don't know why this is not coming up. It should, because it has it cut. Let's see if the other side will come up. The other side's coming up. As you can see, this is pretty time consuming. Um, you know, and you want to be careful when you're picking this because you don't want to snag the sweater. You know, and because I picked the small font, I am wondering, yep, and I did not. That's why it's not coming up because I have to cut it from behind. But I did, and I didn't. But she comes up nice and smooth now. I cut it if I can just grab it hmm. I tell you this is not exactly very uh, simple as the picture you know how in the picture they show you stuff and everything's all nice and simple you have to really um, make sure that you can pick okay I got all this off now I just have to focus on this other side and it looks like, yeah, I don't have it taken. So I got it. See, there you go. Now I have it. Now, when I flip it over, and I take the, the pin and I put it underneath, it will lift right here, as you can see. There you go. So I got this one. This letter is all taken care of. So I got the L. I got the A. I got the T. The N. All of these seem good. Now I have the A left. Okay. And I'm going to go behind here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind as always. And right where the bobbin is. That's where you use the steam ripper. And you want to rip that area up. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab it. Just do a little bit at a time. You don't have to do the whole thing. Um, cause you, the last thing you wanna do is rip the shirt, so. And I'm still ripping here. There you go. I wanna go all the way. Make sure I got everything here. Then I want to make sure I have everything on the other side as well. Okay, I know I started in the middle, but make sure I get all this here. This is going to be quite of a long video. This is the last letter. And I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the shirt either, because... So you guys will let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, do you think this is a, a cute font or what are your thoughts on it? I mean, I was just looking for something different. You know, you always want to try different stuff, you know, um, instead of the same old stuff. You know, you always see the script fonts. You always see the... Um, 
print and scripts with the little squirrels and they're pretty don't get me wrong i mean they are pretty fonts you know they look really cute on the shirts and everything like that but when i saw this font i just thought it was really different you know so i was like oh let me just give that a shot and see and it'll probably look really cute and you know i was like i had all the different uh words on there and stuff just to see if it comes out really cute and stuff so i don't know see i think i got everything from the letter a well i didn't get the inside here that's the other thing too it's like you really there is a lot of ripping <laughs> of bobbin thread in this thing you know because you got to go on both sides of the letter the inner and the outer so I'm trying to get as much of this A as possible. So that way I can just take it out and I don't have to worry. I think Mel got impatient with me and, and went to the room, the other room. He's tired, doesn't want to see the result and stuff. So here we go. So, all right, I think I got it. So I'm going to turn this around and let's take the pin and let's start let me start the inner see if i got all of it i think i did looks like it's all coming out yep seems to be all coming out nicely here we go yep got all of this out okay that's cool all right that sounds that looks pretty cool. Okay. Let me see if I can. Oh, this is a quicker way. I'm just scraping it. That's all I'm doing with the, the needle now. Instead of uh, trying to lift it, I'm just scraping it. And it is coming up. And a lot faster, too. Look at that. Oh, well, then I learned something. Ain't that something? Okay. All right. Okay, I see that this part isn't coming up. Let's see. This part right here, right here. So let me just go in here and see if, yep, I just have to get rid of some of this bobbin area here. There we go. And then we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's see. Let me scrape. Yep, coming out. No problem. No problem. Yep, coming out okay. This was neat. And look at how fast all that time. Okay, so let me. Let's go over to the table and let me lay it out. Let me lay it out and let's take a look at it and see. I mean, does it look okay? Uh, we'll see. You guys be the judge of it. All right, I'm going to take this out of here. Okay. And turn this all the way around, guys. And... I will say, by looking at it real quick, it, it looks different, that's for sure. Does it look like it says Latina? Gee, I don't know. All right, here we go. Final product, guys. Final product. Okay, this is the Fuzz, the Fuzz font. And my verdict, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think, you know what? Okay, let me say this. It's an acquired taste. That's what I say. It's an acquired taste. Um, it's different. Okay? Well, anyway, guys, just wanted to show you. But let me know what you think. Let me know, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a, a font that you would use? Or do you like the concept or anything? 
So let me know what you think, okay? So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and, you know, hope um, hope you like the video, okay? Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I have um, ha embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So anyway, guys, hope you like this video. Um, it was pretty fun making it and stuff, and, you know, I really think the tea needs some work, you know? doesn't look like a, a tea tea, you know? Um, yeah, A looks like a donut. <laughs> and stuff i don't know um maybe it just you know maybe i need to look from from far well it looks different i will say this it's a different it's a different type of font okay so anyway guys you guys take care thanks for watching bye